Well, well, I'm glad to be here today, folks. My name is Izzy. I'm going to try uh, to be funny today, but everyone really knows that it's not easy being funny. Well, I was born on the west side of town. Yes, thank you. I was born on the west side of town of San Antonio. Yes. Oh, you too? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I know. I had chickens in my backyard. They weren't mine. They were the neighborhoods. Yeah. I recommend that you not eat one, though. Well, in the streets of San Antonio, how many know that the traffic is just crazy? Especially during traffic time uh, when everybody's trying to get off work. Just the other day, a man, uh, he cut me off. And he was so rude and cut me off, man. I was just like... <sighs> Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in violence. I don't like to be violent or anything. So, uh, anybody have a favorite actor or actress, right? You know, everybody's got a favorite actor or, or actress, right? Well, uh, I'll tell you who one of my favorite actors is. Uh, his name is Pee Wee Herman, right? Everybody like, anybody like Pee Wee? Pee Wee Herman, why? Well, I'll tell you why. Mostly, if you look at his movies or his shows, they're actually pretty clean. Ooh. What? Hey, hey, I know Pee Wee Herman got a bad rap, okay? I know Pee Wee Herman got a bad rap. But really, the guy was on his off time. Give the man a break. <laughs> Leave him alone. This is supposed to be red. Ah, uh, well, I guess the joke's on you. <laughs> How many has a wife? Anybody has a wife? I mean, a wife that loves you. I'm not talking about a wife that hates you. How many's got a wife that hates you? Don't raise your hand. Especially if she's next to you. <laughs> Well, if you have a wife that loves you, let's give you a round of applause. I'm happy for you. And she stays at home. Oh, my gosh. What? Now, brother, if you have a wife who loves you and she stays at home, you're the most blessed man on the face of the earth. Well, I'm happy for you if your wife loves you, man. <laughs> Good, I'm happy your wife loves you. Come on, man, tell the truth. <laughs> tell the truth, you don't need to lie here. I have a wife and I know she loves me. How can I tell my wife loves me? Dude, she always looks at me like this. That's how I know she loves me. Anyway, speaking of wives, my daughter the other day came to visit me. And I said, hello, Mia, how are you doing? Come in, come inside. She looks at me, she goes, Dad. Oh my goodness, Dad, you're getting old. Excuse me? I said, Dad, you're getting old. I beg your pardon, I said. She goes, Dad. I think you're getting old, Dad. You're getting old. Then what makes you say that? Dad, you have bushy eyes. I said, no, I don't. <laughs> hey, anybody ever go to church? I'm not going to get sacrilegious here. Church is a place where people go, they worship God, that's good. But I'm talking about those that are kind of shady. You know the kind that uh, they act holy and they go to Sunday morning service. <laughs> and when nobody's looking, 
They're out in the nightclubs. Don't ask me how I know this. Anyhow, uh, folks, uh, I, I wish I had more for you, but uh, I'll tell you one joke. That's really not a joke. It's actually a pretty sad story. A true story that my uncle told me one time about a friend of his that he had back in the 60s and the 70s. During that time, they were drafting young men to go to war for the Vietnam War. First of all, I would like to say thank you for those that have served. Uh, which is the reason why I have the freedom to be able to tell these uh, dumb jokes right now. But uh, anyway, my uncle told me that his friend did not want to be drafted because he was afraid that if he went into the battlefield, he would not return home. Uh, for the most part, that was the truth. So, <laughs> the recruiter told him, if you're healthy, you're going to be drafted. It doesn't matter what. So, my uncle's friend, he goes home and he chops off his arm. What? True story. Then he goes back down to the Army Recruitment Center. And the recruiter sees him and says, Whoa, 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 what happened to you? You just had your arm the other day. You don't have an arm. What happened? Oh, man, Uncle Sam cannot use you. Uncle Sam cannot use you. You cannot be drafted if you're disabled, if you're not able, if you're losing any limbs, or if you're maimed. So the guy, my uncle's friend, goes, oh, thank God, you know, to himself. I, I may have lost an arm, but, but at least I'm still alive, and, and, and I won't be, I'm not going to lose my life out on the battlefield. So the recruiter says one more time, yes, 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 sir, you, we cannot use you. You got to go home. If you're disabled, if, if you're dismembered, losing any of your limbs, uh, uh, if you're not able to serve, uh, or if you're flat-footed, you cannot, we can't use you. My uncle's friend goes, flat-footed? You didn't mention that before. Can you mention that again? <laughs> recruiter goes, if you're maimed, if you're disabled, if you're losing any of your members, uh, or if you're flat-footed, we can't use you. <laughs> you see, there was a problem with that. Because the guy was flat-footed. So he chopped off his arm for nothing. All right, folks, thank you very much. My name is, is he funny? I don't know. I hope you liked it. If you found my jokes funny, that's good. I'm happy for you. If you didn't think they were funny, I don't care. <laughs>